Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a tip that could definitely secure your VPN tunnel between two Sonic Wall firewalls uh, quickly, and you'll be very happy that you learned this setting. Let me kind of give you a layout of what we have here. We've got two Sonic Walls set up. I'm at the uh, Firewalls.com Lab Center, and then we have a branch office. We've got our VPN set up and we can see the destination network is a 10 100 21 uh, 24 bit subnet mask. Okay, so we just followed the basic installation for a VPN tunnel to get it up and running. So with the tunnel running, I've got uh, a little application here, a little TCP port scanner, a uh, free one that I picked up off the internet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a host that's over on the remote side of the network. You can see it's on the 10 100 21 128. And so this little tool it's going to scan through a lot of the common ports. And as you can see, uh, it's found three open ports. Uh, many of these are the uh, the Microsoft ports, the file sharing. We won't go into to great detail about this. Uh, we can also see some that are closed and probably more so not in use rather than uh, closed. But what's happening here is if you kind of use the default settings for a SonicWall VPN tunnel, it's going to automatically trust both sides of that VPN tunnel, both of those networks. And so it's going to, by default, automatically create two firewall policies for you. Let me show, show you here. So we pull up the matrix, and in this case, we've got a VPN tunnel coming from the wireless LAN to the branch office through the VPN tunnel. And as you can see, there's a hard-coded rule in here that we cannot delete that is allowing any service uh, from the wireless LAN subnet to the branch office. And if we go back and look, we can see coming from the VPN tunnel to our wireless LAN network, another hard-coded policy uh, that's allowing any service from the branch office to talk to any of the hosts on our wireless LAN subnets. Now, there's two rules of thought here on what's the best approach for this. Like I said previously, the sonic wall is assuming that both of the networks uh, trust each other. So it's okay that we have a VPN tunnel that's wide open and connects both the networks together. Um, but the other train of thought is, is that, you know, you really want to suppress all access through anything and only explicitly allow things to happen. And that's kind of the approach that we take here at firewalls.com is that, you know, we lock it down and we only give you what it is that you really need to have. So there's a quick way to fix this with, uh, with the sonic wall. If you go back into your VPN policy, and you'll want to do this at both locations on both firewalls. Go in and configure and go to advanced and select suppress automatic access rule creation for VPN policy. So what this is going to do is now going to uh, go into the firewall policies and it's going to remove those two uh, policies that were automatically generated that we just could not get rid of. So I'll show you the policy from the wireless LAN to the VPN. We can see is now it's gone. There's there's nothing there. And a good way to test it, if we bring up our little port scanner again, once again I'm going to scan from uh, the firewalls.com lab to the branch office. I hit scan, nothing, nothing happens. It's because we're not allowing anything to happen. And this also applies coming the other direction. So uh, if we look at it from VPN to the wireless LAN, we can see that, okay, nobody at the branch office now can access any hosts that are on the um, firewalls.com lab. And once you have that set up, now you go in and you start creating your policies to allow certain hosts um, you know, the, the specific services that they need to access through that VPN tunnel. That's a very good practice to get into. 
just so that you can keep your network as secure and clean in between uh, both the networks. Okay, hope you found this uh, very useful and can apply it to your network. If you have any uh, questions or comments, you can post them below. Uh, or if there's a video topic that you'd like to see done, uh, just uh, use a little pink box over there on the left-hand side and let us know. All right, have a great day.